Hello YouTube, uh, this video deals with uh, cash budget. Uh, sometimes when we need to predict our cash inflows and outflows and we need to predict our, in our final ending balance, we will use what's called a cash budget and that's what we're talking about today. Um, up here horizontally you'll see our billings. Uh, billings in January 180,000, February, March, and April. Um, if, if I wanted to, to predict our ending balance in March, uh, this is what I would do. Um, you'll see that over on the right hand side here our collections. Uh, this, this is based off of historical data. Um, historically we have received 30% of, of what we bill for. We, we actually collect during the same month. Uh, we, we collect 50% of what we bill for one month after and then 20% two months after. You'll see that uh, February 28th, our ending balance February 28th was $40,000. And this will carry over into the next month, March. Our payroll expense is 53% uh, of that month's revenues. Now, um, in this particular example, revenue is being uh, defined as the accrued revenue, not our cash revenue. So we are operating under an accrual accounting system here. So this 53% for March would be what we actually bill for. 100,000, 53% of that is 53,000. And then other expenses of 60. So we can go through here and just say, uh, this is from March, and I'm, I'm trying to see what we actually collect in March. So over here, we collect 30% during the same month. Well, if it's $100,000, 100, 30% of that is 30,000. Now what I can do to make it easy, and we're in Excel here, is we could just do equals that cell times that cell, and just hit enter. And that should come up to $30,000. Now in February, we're gonna do the same thing. We'll just hit equals that cell D5 times one month after one month after February is March and March is what we're concerned about. We're predicting our inflows for March. Now two months after, so, so which means two months after, so in, in January we're going to collect 20 percent of January's billings in March. That's what that means. So we'll just do equals 180 times this 20 percent equals that gives us a total inflow of 196 and how I did this is I did an equal sum equal sum of these three here uh, E7 through E9 and our beginning balance which was given to us right here uh, at, at the very end of February our balance was 40,000 that carries over into March 1st so our beginning balance is 40,000 now that's that's our uh, that's our inflow side let's let's take a look at our outflows now uh, payroll is 53% uh, of the month that we're talking about. So that would be what equals 100 times 53%. Enter 53,000. I have other expenses of 60,000. I just hit uh, equals I-15. I simply just do that. And now, and now let's calculate our total expense. Total expense, we can do equals uh, sum and just open parentheses these two items close parentheses gives us hundred and thirty three thousand dollars our net cash flow so our net cash flow will be um, hundred ninety six thousand is our total inflow uh, subtract out hundred thirteen thousand so equals hundred ninety six subtract our expenses 113 equals $83,000. Now we're not done yet because we still have what's left over at the very end of February. We have, we're carrying that into March. Our ending balance in February becomes our beginning balance in March. So our ending, ending cash balance would be our net cash flow from operations plus uh, what we began with. So equals 83 plus what we began with, 40,000. Enter. So in this, this particular example, our ending cash balance is $123,000.
I hope this helped you. Um, stay tuned for more videos. Thank you so much.